Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into a major financial update that's making waves, Iraq has decided to halt its plans to cut zeros off the Iraqi dinar. This decision has sparked a lot of discussions, so let's break down what this means, why it's happening, and what it could signify for the future of Iraq's economy. Recently, the news broke that Iraq is putting the brakes on its plan to redenominate its currency. For those who might not be familiar with the term, redenomination involves adjusting the nominal value of a currency by removing zeros. In this case, Iraq was looking to knock three zeros off its dinar banknotes. The idea behind this move was to simplify financial transactions and potentially stabilize the economy. The Central Bank of Iraq had initially announced this plan last August, aiming to make everyday transactions easier and bring some order to an economy that's still heavily cash-based and oil-dependent. With over 3 trillion dinars currently in circulation, the redenomination was seen as a way to streamline financial operations and make the currency more manageable. Let's clarify a bit more about what redenomination entails. It's often referred to as a lopping off zeros or a deleting zeros. Essentially, it's about changing the face value of the currency without altering its actual value. So, if a banknote worth 1000 dinars were redenominated, it might become worth just 1 dinar. This can simplify accounting and transactions, but it also requires a solid economic foundation to be effective. So, why has Iraq decided to put this plan on hold? According to recent statements from the central bank, the decision is rooted in concerns about the current economic climate. Iraq's economy is still heavily centralized around oil, and many transactions are conducted in cash. This creates a unique set of challenges that make redenomination a complex undertaking. The Iraqi economy is deeply intertwined with oil revenues and remains largely cash-based. This situation complicates the process of redenomination because it requires a stable and modernized financial system to handle the transition smoothly. Without addressing these underlying issues, redenomination alone might not achieve the desired results. Economists often debate the merits of redenomination. On one hand, it can simplify financial operations and make currency management easier. On the other hand, it's not a panacea for economic problems. It's crucial that any redenomination plan is implemented in a stable economic environment where it can have a positive impact. For a redenomination to be successful, it's essential to have a robust economic strategy in place. This includes addressing inflation, ensuring currency stability and modernizing financial systems. Iraq's decision to pause the redenomination plan reflects a recognition of these complexities and a desire to address the broader economic context first. As Iraq continues to navigate its economic challenges, the focus will remain on stabilizing and strengthening its financial infrastructure. The current currency system will remain in place as the country works on addressing these underlying issues and preparing for future changes. If you want to stay updated on this story and other important financial developments, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We'll keep you informed with the latest insights and analyzes on global and regional economic trends. Thank you for joining us today. Stay tuned for more updates and in-depth discussions on important financial topics. Until next time, keep informed and stay engaged with the world of finance.